Hi, my name is Raven, and today I'm out in Quail Hollow Nursery, owned by Coach Pat Dime. I've chosen this nursery for my outing today because not only does he have an extensive nursery, he also has landscaped the largest collection in the southeast of rare and unusual mature Japanese maples, and he allows me to come out and collect cultivars for my new collection. Now I'm going to show you how to cut your scion. We're going to take from this tree, this is a waterfall, and we're going to take from this branch because you don't want to look for just the best scion on the tree. You want to be respectful of the tree and help accent its natural shape. And this branch right here is a good example. You don't want to cut back behind those two buds because then that branch will just die back. You want to actually make your cut with your concave back cutters on this side of the bud so that those two buds will break and branch out. Make our cut right there. And there you go. All right, now I'm going to prep my scion for my collection. I'm going to go ahead and label the bag that I'll have it in so I'll know which cultivar that I'm working with. And this is Waterfall. There we go. And then I'm going to use my back cutters. And I'm going to cut half of the petiole off. We only cut it halfway because if the tree is in the process of transpiring, you don't want to interrupt that. And we also don't want to strip the buds. And now we spray the bag down with fungicide to help keep it moist until I can get home to graft it. Just one shot of all-purpose, or one or two shots of all-purpose fungicide will work fine. All right. We stick our scion in there, and we have it labeled and prepared for my collection. Today I was out in the field collecting different cultivars for my collection and now I'm about to start grafting. I'm going to set out all the tools that we need. This is my cutting block. These are my concave back cutters. Buddy tape. This is my rubbing alcohol. Hand sanitizer. These are my box cutters. Okay, first I'm going to spray down the area where my scion's going to be. You want everything as organized and as sterile as possible when you're grafting. Okay, first cultivar we're going to start working with is waterfall. And when I was out cutting scion, I just put it in these little baggies hit it with uh, one shot of all-purpose fungicide because I knew I was going to come home and immediately start grafting. I'm going to use my back cutters, make a clean cut. I'm going to go ahead, use the rubbing alcohol, Sanitize the bottom of the scion just to kill any bacteria, viruses, anything that can be can contaminate the graft. All right, here's the understock I'm going to be working with. It uh, it was cleaned previ previously. Let's see. And you want to follow the natural S shape of the tree when you're choosing where you're going to make your pocket cut. Do mine right here. You also want to sanitize where you're going to make your pocket cut. And you want to start one just right above the node that you're grafting on. 
I actually probably need to wipe that down again, just to be safe. Before I make any cuts, I need to use some hand sanitizer to make sure everything is as sterile as possible. Okay. I'm going to start my pocket cut. Go. And you want to square off the top. Okay. Now we are going to make chisel cuts on our scion. You're going to set the scion in your pocket cut. I'm going to set mine on the left side. And you're going to try and get as many points of contact with that cambium as you can. I'm going to wrap with the buddy tape. It becomes as adhesive as you stretch it. You want to start right below the node that you grafted above. You want to go up half the width each time you wrap. You want to try not upset the setting, but close that other half of that flap as much as possible. You want to stop your wrap. One wrap right above all of your cuts and then apply some pressure on the back and pull, cut it. And that is our first crack, and that is waterfall. Next, we are going to be doing peaches and cream. I'm going to spray my paper, paper towel down again with alcohol, just in case. Oh, I just need to square off the bottom with your back cutters. Sanitize and set aside. Once again, you want to follow the natural S shape of the tree. Probably. Start cutting right above the node, and you want to make sure that you're cut, you're not ripping the cambium. You want it to slide. Perfect. Square that off the top. And you're going to make your chisel cuts on your scion. There you go. And you flip it and set it. To be a little bit more of a chisel cut. Perfect. You don't want any waves in your cut. And once again, I'm going to set it on the left side of the graph. And try and get as many points of cambium contact as possible. Take your buddy tape, stretch it out a little bit, 
start right below that node. Go up half of the width of the tape every wrap. Try and close the side of the flap that you did not set your scion on as much as possible. You want as much cambium contact as possible. I'm going to go up. One more wrap. Apply pressure on the back side. Yeah. And that is our peaches and cream. I need to grab these of those. We're on the side. And grab them. Okay. All right, the next cultivar we're going to be working with is Summer Gold. Okay. Okay. Once again, you want to Use your rubbing alcohol to sanitize where you're going to make your chisel cuts on your scion. And also, where you're going to make your pocket cut on your understock. Follow the natural S shape of the tree. I'm probably going to do nothing right here. grafting you're literally performing surgery on the tree so you want to have more of a slice so you don't rip your cambium there you go. square that off at the top okay now we're gonna make the chisel cuts on our scion Set it on your block. Use the block because it helps for a stable platform for your chisel cuts. Okay. Once again, I, I'm going to set my scion on the left side. You want as many points of cambium contact as possible. And use your buddy tape. Switch it out so it's adhesive. Start one node below your cuts. Go up half of the width with each wrap. And as you're above your pocket cut, you want to try and close that flap. and stop right above all of your cuts, apply pressure on the back and pull off. Once again, this is Summer Gold. All right, next cultivar we're gonna be working with is Shayna. I'm here on your stack. Square off the bottom with your concave back cutters. Sanitize with rubbing alcohol and set aside. Follow the natural S shape of your tree. I'm going to clip right here and out so I can follow that S shape. Sanitize with rubbing alcohol. And we went ahead and sprayed down all of the understock beforehand with fungicide. Okay. Right there. 
Once again, you want a slicing cut. There we go, perfect. Square off the top. And you want to make your chisel cuts on your scion. Set it on your cutting block. Flip it and set it again. There we go. Now you want to set it in your pocket. I like setting mine on the left side. I don't know why. Get as many points of cambium contact as possible. Grab your buddy tape. Start one node below your cuts. Wrap around. Go up half of your width with every wrap. Try and close the flap on that other side as much as possible. I'm going to go one more. Apply pressure on the back side and pull. Okay. And that was Shana. And that was our last graph for today. So now we are going to grab our grafting wax to seal off right at the top of your buddy tape to prevent, prevent from uh, moisture buildup and pathogens. And you want to use the least amount of this as possible. Just enough to seal that up. I'm going to have to add a little bit more. Right. Perfect. And that wax should dry in just a few minutes. Then just a tiny little dab, just enough to seal it off. You don't want it to by chance drip down into your graft or it'll spoil it. Okay. That was our summer gold. Peaches and cream. Just a dab. Okay. This is our waterfall. Okay. Perfect. Now we are going to use the same bags that we used earlier because they're already labeled and we'll know what, the, what cultivar that this is. And once the tree takes, we will actually use these because they'll last a lot longer. And we will take, well, once we take this off, we'll use those. Okay. This already has fungicide in it when I was collecting it, but just for good measure. You want to spray. All right. And you want to get out all of the excess fungicide. Get that off to the side. 
outside. a cut on the side so that when you set this on top of your graft it almost forms a little greenhouse for it. And there we go. That is a finished waterfall. Right. Next is our Shana. Again, as you can tell, there's already fungicide in there, but just to be safe. Get out all of the excess fungicide. Make your cut on the side of the bag so they can sit on top of your graft. And you want to be really careful doing this so you can knock your graft out of alignment. Just be very careful. And that is our Shana. Summer gold. Ooh, nope. Not alcohol fungicide. Just one shot of that. Spread it around evenly. And then empty out the excess. Make your cut in the side of the bag. And carefully set it on your scion. Do not want to knock that out of alignment. Okay. That is summer gold. And lastly, we've got peaches and cream. Hmm? Now that wax is right there. I was checking to make sure that it looked like the wax did not seal. It wasn't sealed all the way across. You want to make sure that it is. One shot of fungicide. That's just regular all-purpose fungicide. Spread it out evenly. Get rid of the excess. That one's actually got a lot in there, so I'm gonna shake it out. Okay. Make your cut on the side of the bag so it'll set on your graft. and then carefully place it to your scion. All right, and that is peaches and cream. All right, now this is a graft I did about 10 weeks ago. This is a Watnan. And since we've had a mild winter so far, you can tell that the buds are swelling. That's a sign that the graft is taken. And I'm gonna make I'm going to back cut the understock with my concave back cutters. And you want to do it right below the node and in line with the graft. Just like that. And then you spray that with fungicide. And then you'll wait until this tree is about three months old before you take the body tape off. And this 
Here's an example also of a Wat Nun that is taken. This one is about three months old. You can see we've done the back cutting. We've taken the tape off. The union is completely healed and it's starting to leaf out. I think this one is also a Wat Nun. Yes, it is. And this one is also leafed out. And you can see where the union has healed. This one is also about three months old. And that back cut, again, is below the node, above any cuts that you've made, and in line with your graft. I hope that you have found our field trip and our grafting tutorial informative. If you have any questions or comments or if you want us to cover anything else, feel free to call or email us. And if you're ever in the Auburn, Alabama area, please stop by for a visit. Best regards and happy gardening.